it's called changing lines. So it's not uh, not designed, as it were. It's not laid out and thought out and then executed. Uh, the the joy I have in making the work that I do is in not knowing what's going to, what's going to happen when it. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like until the last stitch is finished. So I, quite, I find that really exciting and. Um, the patterns that emerge uh, represent natural patterns that occur in nature, which I'm really interested in as a sort of process, like an invisible presence. Um, the materials are pre-existing paintings. Uh, it began by um, finding bits and pieces that fell to the floor when I, when I trimmed my work, um, when I was doing larger paintings, and I was finding that trimmings were more I interesting. The bits on the floor were the little germs of ideas, and then I would cut and place and stitch. So rather than me thinking up a picture, and painting it, so to speak. Um, I like it to uh, <coughs> um, tell me what to do. So I, I guess it's a meditative process as well. This particular work is based on drips. And the drips start at the top and go to the bottom. So I use the top, the bottom, and the long um, lines in the middle. and each drip will be cut through the centre. And the reason I like to do it this way is the cutting is the equivalent to me of drawing, so it's quite loose. The, the, what I liked about the drip was the fact that it was once removed from, it was taken over by another force or energy. So in that way, I guess, um, there is an awareness of another another energy that that you tap into. You're a conduit of some sort. You know, I'm not saying in a spiritual way necessarily, but um, you lay yourself open to things that are not necessarily seen or, or tangible to most people. But I guess in my work in general, is um, a feeling of harmony, complexity. If you wanted to sum it up in two words. <laughs>